Well, now that the yield on the 10-year Treasury has hit 3 percent, what is the biggest concern for investors? Inflation or a possible recession next year? Let's bring in Sean O'Hara of Pacer ETFs and David Kudla, Mainstay Capital Management CEO. Welcome to you both. Sean, I'll start with you. Uh, mixed signals yesterday in the markets and their action. Uh, we saw the Cat C Caterpillar CEO or CFO say we're at peak earnings. And then, of course, we had the yield on the 10-year Treasury at 3 percent. What does this mean and where are we going? Are you more concerned about rising inflation or are you concerned about a possible economic slowdown? I'm not really as concerned about either one of those two things. What I'm really concerned about is the ability for earnings to continue to rise at the rate they have been rising. So we had about a 19 percent increase in earnings this quarter. And uh, I think that was expected due to some of the policy uh, enacted by the administration, regulatory reform and tax cuts. And I think that's why the market ran up the last year. But going forward, next year's comparables are going to be more difficult for no, no, companies true. to meet. And, and to me, uh, that worries me more than anything, and I think people need to be paying attention to that. Sure, I don't David. think the bull market's over yet, but, but it's going to be tougher and tougher for this market to continue to go higher if we don't see earnings well, grow. Well, let's drill down in some of what's going on here and how it might apply to the markets. I want to talk about inflation, David, for just a second here. You know, we're seeing some big signals, not just the 10-year uh, Treasury yield, but also oil hitting uh, or getting close to $70 a barrel. Housing prices out yesterday. They are at the highest levels for February ever. Uh, we are making big moves in housing prices. How worried are you about inflation and especially its impact on markets? Oil is an input because it's higher. Uh, will be a, an increase, will be a one factor that could increase inflation. Housing being higher I think is just a good sign for the economy overall. But in terms of those two concerns, we're not concerned about inflation. We've had stocks do very well at higher inflation than where we are now. We're just now getting the 2 percent that our central bank is trying to been, has been trying to drive inflation up to. Uh, in terms of recession, we don't see it with the economic growth expected this year, the tailwind of tax reform and fiscal stimulus for the economy for this year in 19. And on the earnings growth, as Sean said, you know, we're looking for 18 percent earnings growth in 2018 and still double digit growth, 10 or 11 percent in 2019. Okay. So we think there are some strong tailwinds of the economy. Well, and we still certainly, for you know, we, Sean, we certainly have uh, big earnings growth uh, this year. And I think when it's all said and done, this quarter could come in at 20 percent, which would be fantastic. But the real worry is coming in next year, 2019. What happens next? What's in your crystal ball? Not for right now, but for next year. Well, I mean, I don't really have a crystal ball. We look at companies' free cash flow and their free cash flow yield. And what we ideally want to invest in is companies who, who, who are growing their free cash flow while their stock price is not necessarily following because we, have, we eventually believe that will happen. You know, this is the most hated bull market in history, <laughs> going all the way back to 2009. Uh, and some people hate it for the, all the wrong reasons recently. Maybe it's a political thing. Um, so what we've, what we've got going on now is I, I, I don't think it makes as much sense to buy the broad market as it is to try to identify individual companies that will continue well, to provide you got that the returns right. that, that makes a lot of sense to me. And mark me as, as a stock market bull fan, okay, a lover, not a hater. Sean and David, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much for having me.